are you doing, little pervert? Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to. Today I'm going to talk about something that is not often discussed openly. VRChat has all kinds of virtual worlds created by users. It's the creative social hub where avatars come to life, bonds are built, and virtual reality becomes the reality. But there are also some places with very adult themes where people actually have virtual hookups. <laughs> yes, you heard right. People actually do it in VR. And we're merely at the tip of the iceberg. While VRChat doesn't allow such things, but they exist in a gray area within the platform. So today I'm gonna break down everything about ERP, also telling you how to get into one of these worlds and personally experience what happens there as you've likely heard. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> what is ERP? For those who don't know, ERP, or erotic roleplay, refers to role-playing between avatars in virtual environments such as VR chat and chill out VR. People take advantage of tools like DPS, dynamic penetration system, phantom sense, adult toys, and FBT full body tracking to simulate intimate scenarios in virtual reality. What? What the fuck? For many, ERP offers a safe, anonymous way to explore intimacy. The avatar creates a layer between the roleplay and real life. ERP fulfills a human need for connection that's difficult to achieve outside VR. Now, I want to be clear I'm not here to kink shame anyone or say that ERP is inherently bad. People have all kinds of interests and engage in roleplay as a safe outlet. There are many worlds in VRChat dedicated to ERP, and some of them host events every week. However, these worlds are private, and you need to get a private link to access them. One public world that is often used as an ERP destination is Shangri-La, which is essentially a DPS world. But people use this world as a destination. Now, I'm really mad! So why do ERP worlds exist in the first place? There are a few reasons. First, they allow people to safely explore intimacy and sexuality, especially those who may have difficulties doing so in real life due to anxiety, location, or lack of willing partners. Second, they provide communities where niche kinks and fetishes can be expressed free of judgment. I'm not the bad guy. Everyone keeps looking at me like I'm the bad guy. And third, the anonymity gives people the freedom to experiment with new personas, relationships, and behaviors they might not consider it. So while ERP worlds may seem strange or taboo from the outside, for many, it's about positive self-expression, creativity, and experiments. And I don't judge what others are into. So, that's a brief overview of the world of ERP in VRChat. If you have any thoughts to share, let me know down in the comments. I may do a follow-up video going deeper into this fascinating topic. Shit, I don't even know. Like, I can't even tell you that. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. 